I so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Sleepless from 2001. This is a color Dario Argento Giallo flick from 2001, and um, a lot of people said Argento lost his touch, his magic touch, his uh, directing wizardry, wizardry, etc. After um, after Tenebre, I guess, 1982. Um, I tend to disagree with that. Uh, I enjoyed this flick a lot. I gave it five stars. And um, maybe it's because it is a giallo and I haven't seen his other giallos except for Tenebre. Um, so, um, yeah, I like this one and Tenebre the best. Um, both of them have great soundtracks right up there with Suspiria and um, Beyond the Darkness kind of soundtracks from Goblin. And um, so that's what turned me on to this flick, got me to rent it, was the Goblin music. And um, yeah, it starts out in some Italian village. Um, some kid watches her mother get um, bludgeoned to death with a uh, musical instrument, and um, and Mark Max van von Sydow, one of my favorite uh, European, probably my all-time favorite European actor, is uh, is the uh, police officer investigating the case around 1980, somewhere around there. And then um, he he promises the boy that he's going to find the killer, no matter what. Uh, and he he sort of does. He finds a uh, a dwarf um, in the river who is supposedly the killer. But then the dwarf killer comes back 20 years later and starts. Uh, doing some nasty shit. Uh, the kills are pretty gruesome. Um, for instance, uh, the girl on the tr the uh, hooker on the train gets her finger chopped off. A uh, similar type situation with the uh, drowning victim. She had her uh, fingernails chopped off uh, with blood coming out of the uh, tips of her fingers. Uh, then there was a ballerina who got her head chopped off. Fortunately, this was the uncut European version that I watched, apparently. So I actually got to see the uh, ballerina's head hit the floor. No pun intended. And then, um, and then there's more stuff like that. Uh, a lot of uh, gruesome, grisly killings. And uh, meanwhile, Max von Sido was talking to his parrot trying to figure out who the killer is, he ends up getting killed himself, and the sun comes back, uh, the sun from 1980 or whenever, he comes back to uh, find out who the killer is. I'm not going to spoil the ending, but uh, yeah, that's about the extent of the plot. Uh, it's a good mur murder mystery, kind of, uh, you know, Argento, it's got that Argento feel, the great cinematography, the great thumping goblin music, um, and uh, yeah, it kind of reminded me of Suspiria for some reason, I don't know why, but um, yeah, Suspiria is even better than this, um, but I enjoyed it, I gave it five stars, and um, Yeah, I thought it was great. I, d I don't know why people complain about Argento going downhill, um, his uh, career going downhill. This is definitely a great flick. It, it made a lot of money in Italy, and um, yeah, I loved it a lot. Um, couldn't get enough of it. I'm about ready to watch the, uh, the bonus features on this friggin' disc. Okay, laters, y'all.